we really need an expensive curriculum to homeschool our kindergartner? No, I don't think so. And let me tell you how to teach your kids effectively, make it fun for them, and save some money at the same time. For many homeschool parents, kindergarten is the first year they homeschool, and first year can be very intimidating. We want to make sure that we're doing a good job, and we're worrying that our child will fall behind. And we're also constantly wondering if we're doing enough. How do I know? Because I've been there, done that. With my first child, I bought all the expensive curriculums, like logic of English, only to abandon it after just few lessons. It just wasn't working out. My child didn't like it and we were just not having fun. But trust this veteran homeschooling mom that you really do not need expensive all-in-one curriculum to homeschool your kindergartner. And actually, you can use the same methods for older children also. So how do we do it? So I started with just few trips to thrift stores, Dollar Tree, and some garage sales. I added few games. Most of them actually come from those same places to save some money. All that you're missing is just few books from the library. You can just go to the library when you need them or you can go to some library sales. At our library, we can get a whole big bag of books for just $5. Don't forget to add some educational videos from YouTube. Our favorite is preschool prep videos. Both of my kids started reading after watching those videos. Over the years, I've accumulated way more materials than I will ever need. But you definitely don't need that much. Just few workbooks from thrift stores would definitely do the job to begin. Once you accumulated some little workbooks, from Goodwill or other thrift stores, Dollar Tree, then we have to decide how to use them. The way how I like to organize my stuff is I use a three ring binder and I pull all the pages out of those workbooks and put them in order according to what they're about. Mm -hmm.
Once I get my workbooks, I pull all the pages out, put them in a folder that's seg segregated by subjects. And then when my daughter's ready to work on school, I just take the folders out and pull each few pages from each subject. She usually only spends about 15 minutes a day on sit-down work. After that, we might play a game together or cook something. Cooking is great for measuring ingredients, also for counting. I might say, hey Maya, please stir the soup 10 times to the right. My daughter's favorite game that teaches addition is Sleeping Queens. You have three cards in your hands that form an equation. For example, 3, 2, and 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So you can discard all three of those cards at the same time instead of one at a time. Evening, we read books together. And that's pretty much how most of our day goes. Now, since my daughter is in second semester of kindergarten, she already started reading. From garage sales and thrift stores, I accumulated a lot of a lot of these little little readers books that we just pick one. A lot of these are numbered, so you they start pretty easy and they get more and more complicated. I also have a set of books, little books that come with pre preschool prep DVDs. So there's just these little, little books that have just few words and a picture on each page and we usually read one of these books every day another really fun resource for kindergarten are tinker active workbooks my daughter really just loves these books they're very hands-on every lesson has an activity at the end they're simple activities it says let's tinker let's make something all of the materials that you need for those are always very easily available in your house. So I never have to prepare anything ahead of time. Whatever we need, we usually have. And then first there's a little lesson. She fills in some stuff. It's really fun. And then at the end of the day, she always gets to make some kind of project. Right now they have language arts, math, and science available, and they're really fun. Another type of workbooks that we use is Explode the Code. These are really good for learning phonics. We also don't do much. We usually do one or two pages a day. We don't finish the whole lesson every day. However, they do not take long and they're very good for learning phonics. I also have some workbooks for science and for social studies, like this workbook about geography. Again, we don't do those every day, but every once in a while, it's good to do something different. So did I worry if this is enough? Did I worry if just few workbooks are not gonna cause some gaps in the knowledge and I'm not gonna set my daughter for success? Yes, I did. We all worry. However, now that my daughter is halfway through kindergarten, we just started second semester of kindergarten, I started seeing results. My daughter is reading. She can add. She can subtract. She's counting. She knows all the basics. She can write simple sentences. She's doing really well of where she should be at this moment. So I definitely see results that you do not need very expensive curriculums that you have to follow every day and then you feel stressed out if you miss the day because a few pages from, from workbooks here and there and I got the same results without the stress, without spending hours every day studying. She just does 15 minutes here and there and then we do some other fun activities and that really is enough. I know it's enough because I've seen the results. And our kids learn all the time, even if we don't really realize it. So you can definitely homeschool your kindergartner without the curriculum. Bye! See you next time!